Gray Wacky Sandstone wins the award for having the most interesting sounding name, but probably being the most nondescript rock. As its name implies, it's gray when it's fresh. That's the original color. It's got a lot of iron too, so oftentimes when it's been exposed to the air, you'll see it a more tan color because the iron component has been oxidized. This is a sedimentary rock that began life in the ancient Sierra Nevada, or a bit further south even. And it's a product of erosion of those old mountains with the, the material being washed into the ocean and down onto the ocean floor into the trench in, in giant submarine landslides called turbidites. And gray wacky sandstone, well, each of the Franciscan rocks has its own characteristic shape. We've got the pillows for the basalt, We've got the ribbons for the chert. And gray wacky sandstone, we've got blocks. When this rock breaks, it breaks in flat planes. And sometimes it's a little difficult to tell pillow basalt and gray wacky sandstone apart, especially after it's weathered, because both those rocks have a lot of iron in them and they weather to the same color, or kind of an orange color. But the easy way to do it, if you want to, don't want to take a sample back to the laboratory and look at a microscope, is just to check the shape. If you see pillows, it's the basalt. If you see blocks, it's the gray wacky sandstone. And even though there's not a lot of it on Mount Diablo, this is really the, the big shot in the Franciscan. Throughout California, about 70% of the Franciscan assemblage of rocks is gray wacky sandstone. This is what makes up the peak of Mount Tamalpais. This is what's at Telegraph Hill and Mount and, and Mount San Bruno. So despite its funny name, it's got an important place in the Bay Area. The name Wacky is a type of sandstone. And it's a Dutch mining term, meaning dirty gravel. And most sandstones that you see, most sedimentary rock, it's well sorted. At any particular outcrop, all the grains are the same size and the same shape. But with gray wacky sandstone, if you look under a microscope, there are a whole assortment of sizes and shapes. And that has to do with the way they were deposited. They all came down at once. They didn't have a time to sort themselves out. And geologists call that a wacky sandstone, W-A-C-K-E. And they probably weren't trying to be funny, but that's a good way to remember it. So it's gray wacky sandstone. Walk downhill from here, and in a couple of minutes, you'll be at stop 1.6, a beautiful outcrop of Radiolarian Chert. <laughs> 